Good morning, friends, and happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day, friends. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. So today, Miss Michelle and I thought that it would be really cool and exciting to talk about ways that we can protect our environment and protect our Earth and ways that we can help to make it a better place. So I'm going to go over a few things that you can do at home and just in your daily day-to-day -day of how to be able to keep the earth nice and clean and healthy and happy. And one of those things we've been talking about a lot this week is recycling. Um, and it's very important for us to know how to recycle and where to put proper things like plastic and glass and metal um, so that we are keeping our environment nice and safe. Another thing that I know you guys love to do is color and draw beautiful pictures for your teachers and for your family at home. And something that you can do a lot of times is that you guys color on one side of the paper and then you'll say, I'm all done. But instead, you can draw on both sides of the paper. So now instead of just drawing one picture, you can have two pictures. How cool is that? And another thing that is really helpful, and especially in this time that we're in right now and you guys being at home with your families, is using your bike when you're going out to get some fresh air or riding your scooter. And this is something that you can do as a family with all of your family. Um, and you guys can do this together instead of driving the car, especially if you're gonna go a short distance. Uh, this will help to keep the environment safe and to save the air so that we can have nice healthy air to breathe in um, instead of using our cars. And another thing that I would like to share is to learn how to be creative. So using items that you have in your home and creating something else. So maybe you have a water bottle or that you've drank all the water out of and instead of throwing the water bottle away, maybe you can think of what else can I turn this water bottle into? And something like a sensory bin, a sensory bottle that you can pour add new water inside of there and add some cool things and turn it upside down that you can shake or you can turn it into a musical instrument so that it can make noise. There are many different things that you can look around the house and see that maybe it's not waste just yet and you can turn it into something else and using your creativity and your beautiful art skills to make a nice new project. Just like where you guys are working on at home for your Root for Earth project. Um, so, Miss Michelle, what else do you think would be some good things to save the environment? So, thank you, Miss Brené. Those were lots of great ideas for um, helping our environment. I have a couple ideas, too, for my friends. So, one thing that you can do um, to conserve energy is always making sure that you are shutting the refrigerator door. So, it seems like a silly thing, maybe, because usually we always just, we know to shut the door. But sometimes maybe you're going in for snacks or a drink, and maybe you're distracted. So always remembering to shut that door is very important. Um, we know that you're very independent now and you do things by yourself, but making sure that you shut that door is very important. So that's one thing you can do in your homes. Another thing you can do is to always start to try to shut off things like your iPads, maybe your night lights, um, and even other lights in your house that you can reach, other switches that you can reach. Maybe mommy and daddy or brother or sister, maybe they were leaving your room and you realized they forgot to put the light off. So as big preschoolers, we can learn to look for those things too. If we see a light on and we're leaving the room, make sure that if you can reach it, you shut it off. And if you can't reach it, you can just tell mommy or daddy that um, they have to turn that light off to, to conserve energy. Another fun thing you can do, um, which is a great thing to do for Earth and for your community, is you can volunteer for possibly uh, a tree planting program in your town. Um, or a creek cleanup program in your area. Um, once um, all of us are outside and doing more as time goes on a little bit down the road, moms and dads, you can look for, um, go on like your town websites and see what kind of programs there are for, for pre-K kids. Um, things like volunteering to, to do like a creek cleanup is great for getting outside, for helping the earth, um, for showing kids how to volunteer for um, just being kind and compassionate to others and to their towns, a good citizen. It's a really great way to get involved and to get out there and do fun things and in a really fun way. So um, the ideas that we have today 
um, are really important and we hope that you're able to use some of these ideas and to, you know, to help the earth and to be, to be a good citizen of the earth. Yes, and so I hope that you guys really do think about the things that we have shared with you today. We hope that you enjoy your Earth Day, and we will see you guys back tomorrow. Bye. Bye, friends. Have a good day.